Repression and violence has led scores of Nicaraguans to flee their country, a situation that has intensified with government crackdowns ahead of the coming presidential election. I left Nicaragua mainly because of that. They are organizing the elections and that is going to be difficult. The elections are coming soon. This young man has scars on his body, he says, from a tax he faced in his hometown that forced him to leave. As Nicaraguans, we suffer a lot. If you don't support the government, it will be very bad for you. In Veracruz, Mexico, a group of migrants from Nicaragua wait to board the dangerous beast, the infamous northbound train, with hopes of reaching the United States, although their final destination remains unclear. Many people have been mutilated and injured because we are trying to get on the train while it is moving. A trip full of risks that gets even more complicated, with Mexican National Guard troops deployed along the migratory route, preventing many from achieving their American dreams by stopping them from boarding the train. I asked the president of Mexico to withdraw these soldiers. We are just migrants going to the U.S. At least 15 opponents of Nicaraguan president Daniel Ortega have been targeted by the government, among them presidential candidates and journalists. Mexican president Andrés Manuel López Obrador spoke out against human rights abuses and the Ortega government's use of repression and targeting political opponents, suggesting that the will of the citizens should be respected. There should be a guarantee for freedom and there should not be repression in Nicaragua or Colombia or in any other country. It is suspected that the Nicaraguan's November 7th presidential election will result in increased migration flows from the country. In the meantime, experts assure that social pressure and international condemnation are the way to weekend's President Ortega's dictatorship. Paulina Gomez Bulshiner in Mexico City, U News.